All right, we're back again with another episode of Roofer Reflections. I'm really excited to have Rob here with us. Rob, thank you, thank you for coming on the show. Oh, you're welcome. That's great to be here, and uh, look forward to uh, look forward to our time together. Did you have any sort of, um, I guess, ties to construction or roofing growing up? Yeah. So uh, growing up, yeah, you know, after high school, I actually went to the University of Nebraska for construction management, and uh, spent some time there, um, kind of learning learning ways to to run uh, big commercial projects and uh and manage and 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 part of what i remember from some of those classes is ways to be more efficient um ways to make jobs easier and more productive and it seems like at times it's kind of gone full circle for me i spent about three years in the industry with a general contractor and then got into uh, consumer services uh, as a in the sales industry, along with management there, and uh, I've been very fortunate to find Rocket Equipment um, about 18 months ago, and and it's been it's been a lot of fun and an exciting exciting new adventure for me. You know, there's many different paths to roofing, but you know, not all of them involve going to schooling for construction and then going to roofing. I mean, you mentioned some of the benefits of of you know going to school and learning certain things but i mean is that a path that you would recommend for people getting formal schooling then possibly uh, going into trades you know it's funny i just talked to someone today that is looking at our our um, our machine and they started you know in grown up you know on the labor side and they were spent a lot of time on the roof and and had worked their way through the insurance side and into sales and you yeah, know that's the exciting part and and I think the trades and the roofing industry, um, particular, really does offer a, a lot of different avenues. Um, as I've been, I've spent more time over the last year and a half um, going to trade shows and talking to a lot of roofing uh, contractors of all different sizes. That um, you know, if you're willing to to work hard and learn and 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 help people, it's it's a heck of an industry and uh, one that can can be very rewarding and you know, the more that I spend time within it, you see, you see the passion and excitement that, that it, it brings people. And, and so very fortunate to, to find myself where I am. And like you said, everybody's path is a little bit different. Your, your rocket equipment thing is that sort of a shoot that kind of, you know, you know goes up near a uh, roof and then allows you to sort of, you know, I guess, expedite the tear off process yeah. as a massive extendable shoot that I like a good origin story. Um, how did it come to be? It is a pretty good story. You know, Scott uh, Scott Seaton is uh, the owner of a large commercial roofing contracting company here in Omaha, Nebraska. He's been in the business over 40 years and uh, roughly seven years ago, he was re-roofing his own house uh, in town and it was full of uh, clay tile, um, just a really, heavy roofing material and he was he was had a lot of concerns that the tear off was going to be pretty destructive to his landscaping and 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 that so he basically took a man lift and retrofitted it with the tube on and on the top and and you know telescoped it up to the roof and it worked out uh worked out great to get that debris down and he's he still got the napkin drawing he showed me and it is, you know, from there hired some engineers and really started perfecting this piece of equipment that's that's uh, taken off. It took a couple of years to kind of get it to the point of, you know, production and taking it to the first first trade show was the 2020 IRE show in Vegas, and so it's it's grown from there. It, it really solves a problem. It's a very um, it's a simple machine we hear at times that gosh i wish why didn't i think of that sort of thing but when i go back to helping people and being able to show them the benefits of a simple way to to get things done that maybe they hadn't thought of before it yeah it, it sure is rewarding with the roofing industry i mean what yeah. type of uh, experience or learnings did you kind of have to go through you know one thing i've learned is you know, there are a wide variety of different types of contractors out there tackling different problems. Um, you know, they doing things different ways. Everybody has a different level of experience. So when you call on or you visit with, 
one roofing contractor there, you know, it, it could be a completely different experience than someone else, you know, and they're Got it. from the outside might look or, or seem similar, but, and a lot of the times maybe a website looks similar, but, uh, you know, whether it's just management structure or it's, um, yeah. the size of the business, you know, just getting to learn, getting to learn and, and put myself in a lot of different people's shoes, you know, has been Got one it. of the biggest things to learn. But yeah, it's it's uh it's a lot of fun and we're excited to excited to continue to grow and, and help people and you know it's a great industry to be in.